Rocked by a Georgia High School Association investigation, the Valdosta High School Wildcats are looking forward to the future. For those at the center of the investigation, though, it's not going to be so easy with a future in football uncertain right now. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Channing Frampton and I'm Ava Van Valen. Last month, the Georgia High School Association put the school on notice, saying that an investigation revealed that some players were offered incentives to play for the Wildcats. The school was fined $7,500 and put on a postseason ban, along with leaving four students on the sidelines for this upcoming school year. Only on ABC 27 Sports Director Allison Posey talked with the families of two of those players. She's live tonight in Valdosta. For the first time, the parents of Tylee Lewis and Taj Sanders are speaking out, and they tell us they plan to keep fighting to make sure their sons see the football field this upcoming season. Did any of you take any money, any gifts, utilities paid for by the Touchdown Club, Rush Prost, Mike Nelson, anybody here at Valdosta High School? No. 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 Nobody no. took anything. We, we were never approached by anybody to offer us anything. For Shafrida Hall and Tijuana and Tim Sanders, it's been an emotional, frustrating last few weeks. I was in there crying because it's a shame that y'all are doing this to these kids. They didn't have any sympathy. The families are accused of accepting money and other incentives to transfer their sons to Valdosta High School to play football. In a letter to the high school, the Georgia High School Association wrote that Coach Rush Prost and other Valdosta High School booster members were behind it all. We show our monthly what we pay every month for rent since we've been over here. We showed everything. Tijuana and Tim are the parents of Taj Sanders. Shafrida is the mother of Tylee Lewis. He was number six. Both played for Prost at Colquitt County their freshman seasons. Their parents say they saw Prost move to Valdosta as a chance to play for the coach again. Now they're not playing for anyone. Following the GHSA investigation, both players and two others have been banned from playing sports for GHSA schools for one year, a punishment the families say is not justified. The first week that this happened, he didn't even want to go to school. I mean, like they wanted to just stay home. They didn't even want to go to the weightlifting room because the other kids was there. The investigation into the team started after a recording was leaked of a conversation between Prost and the executive director of the Touchdown Club, Michael Nelson. In an interview with ESPN, Nelson confirmed that he secretly recorded the conversation, but denies leaking it. In the recording, Prost can be heard telling Nelson, quote, we have to have some funny money. Nelson asks how much money, and Prost says, quote, I don't know who's coming and what they need. They might not ask for anything. I don't advertise it. Prost is also heard mentioning Taj Sanders' name, saying, quote, his family hadn't asked for a dime. That recording was part of the evidence that the GHSA used to make its ruling against the school and players. ABC 27 asked the organization what other evidence was used in the decision making and GHSA Executive Director Dr. Robin Hines declined further comment. The Sanders say the GHSA came to their home in Valdosta twice, in June 2020 and in November. It was bona fide. We had to prove everything before we could even, you know, before our kids could even get a start chance school. to start school. Yeah. So how do you come up with what you got now? After the November visit, the organization ruled that Taj's move was not legitimate. The family says they never gave them a clear reason why. We sat there for three hours talking about it and it took them less than two minutes to deny. In addition to players being banned from participating in any sport for a year, Valdosta High School has to pay $7,500 in fines. The football program also cannot participate in any postseason games in 2021. The school district filed two appeals with the GHSA. Both were denied. The Sanders and Hall feel their kids have been caught in the middle of something bigger than them. To me, I always say a vendetta. It made us feel like our side of the story didn't, didn't matter. matter at all. That's what I believe that is going on with the GHSA. It's not about us. We're just collateral damage. Which is why they don't plan to stop fighting for their kids. Instead, both families are weighing their options to take legal action against the GHSA. 
Eric Johnson is the Sanders family attorney. He says they believe the student's due process was violated. They also say the decision to ban them from a year of play has caused intentional emotional distress. They don't understand the pain, the suffering, the, like, the emotional part of this because it's not happening to them. It's happening to us and watching our kids. Like, this is hard to have to go through every day. Now, I did reach out to former head coach Rush Prost about the GHSA allegations and that recording. In a statement, he says, quote, the truth will come out. I hope the process allows for these student athletes to be proven innocent and reinstated. During the GHSA investigation, Prost was put on leave from Valdosta. The Board of Education later voted to not renew his contract. So for the second time in two years, this Wildcat football team is without a permanent head coach. In Valdosta, Allison Posey, ABC 27.